amber. It may look like nothing more than golden-colored jewelry, but this fossilized tree resin holds some of the most astonishing secrets of prehistoric life. Trapped inside these glistening droplets are ancient creatures, perfectly preserved for tens of millions of years. From delicate insects to fragments of dinosaurs, amber offers scientists a rare and intimate glimpse into ecosystems long vanished from Earth. It's like nature's time capsule, freezing moments from the deep past in pristine detail. And in today's video, we're diving into five of the strangest, most mind-blowing prehistoric creatures ever found trapped in amber. You won't believe what's been hiding in these ancient golden tombs. So, how exactly does amber preserve these ancient creatures in such incredible detail? It all begins when sticky tree resin oozes from the bark, trapping unsuspecting insects, feathers, or even tiny vertebrates. Over time, this resin hardens, gets buried underground, and undergoes a chemical transformation, fossilizing into amber. The result? A snapshot of prehistoric life, frozen in time with remarkable clarity. What makes amber truly unique is its ability to preserve even the most delicate structures. Tiny hairs, fragile wings, and sometimes even soft tissues. It's as if time simply hit pause. But despite what movies like Jurassic Park would have us believe, extracting dinosaur DNA from amber isn't quite possible. At least not yet. DNA is incredibly fragile and breaks down quickly. So far, no viable DNA has ever been retrieved from amber fossils, despite years of trying. Still, the level of preservation is astonishing. And while we might not clone dinosaurs anytime soon, these tiny amber-encased relics are rewriting what we know about life in the distant past. Our first bizarre discovery takes us to a forest that existed over 54 million years ago, what is now modern-day Russia. Deep within a piece of amber unearthed from this region, scientists found something astonishing, the nearly complete body of a tiny prehistoric gecko. At first glance, it looks like a miniature modern-day lizard frozen mid-crawl. But upon closer inspection, researchers realized this creature was from a time shortly after the dinosaurs vanished, a true relic from the dawn of the modern mammal era. What makes this find even more extraordinary isn't just its physical form, it's what was preserved inside. Using advanced imaging techniques, scientists detected remnants of ancient proteins still embedded in the gecko's soft tissues. That's right, molecular traces survived tens of millions of years, providing insights into its biology and possibly its evolutionary lineage. The skin, scales, and even internal structures were so well preserved that scientists could study its anatomy in exquisite detail, right down to the pads on its toes that helped it cling to tree bark. This tiny gecko, frozen in amber, gives us a rare window into the lives of small vertebrates that once scurried through lush, ancient forests. And this is just the beginning. In 2016, a discovery shocked the paleontology world, and it came in the form of a small, delicate piece of amber found in Myanmar. Trapped inside was something that seemed almost too good to be true, the perfectly preserved, feather-covered tail of a young dinosaur. Yes, a dinosaur, not a bird, not a fossilized print, an actual piece of dinosaur anatomy, complete with skin, bones, and feathers, frozen in golden resin for nearly 100 million years. The tail belonged to a small, two-legged theropod dinosaur, likely a relative of the raptors. The feathers weren't like the sleek flight feathers of today's birds. They were soft, downy, and ornamental. Scientists believe they were likely used for display or temperature regulation, not flight. And here's what made this discovery groundbreaking. It offered the first direct evidence that some dinosaurs had complex feather structures, not unlike those seen in modern birds. Before this, feathered dinosaur fossils were mostly impressions left in stone. But this was real, three-dimensional, and astonishingly detailed. It blurred the line between bird and dinosaur even further and fueled the idea that many dinosaurs were far fluffier and far stranger than we ever imagined. One small tail, locked in amber, changed everything we thought we knew about what dinosaurs looked like. Now, imagine something as small and seemingly insignificant as a flea, suspended in amber for 20 million years. But this isn't just any flea. This tiny insect, discovered in the Dominican Republic, might carry a secret far more sinister than its size suggests. 
Preserved with remarkable clarity inside the amber, this ancient flea still had visible bristles, segmented legs, and even traces of blood in its abdomen. But what truly caught scientists' attention was what they found inside that blood. Microscopic bacteria, resembling the same family that causes one of the deadliest diseases in human history, the plague. Yes, the plague. The same bacteria that would later devastate medieval Europe may have ancestors that go back tens of millions of years. And this fossil might be a smoking gun. While it's not confirmed that this was Yersinia pestis, the exact bacterium responsible for the Black Death, it was undeniably a relative. This suggests that plague-like pathogens were already evolving long before humans ever walked the Earth. The flea itself is a marvel of preservation. Its body appears as though it could still jump, with legs frozen mid-motion and tiny sensory hairs intact. But it's the possible presence of ancient disease within its gut that elevates this from a curious fossil to a chilling reminder. Even in deep time, nature had its deadly designs. This tiny parasite, encased in amber, carries not just the history of its species, but possibly the prelude to a global killer. While the gecko, the feathered tail, and the plague-carrying flea have made headlines. They're just the tip of the amber iceberg. Over the years, researchers have uncovered a wide range of prehistoric life sealed in golden resin, each one offering a rare glimpse into ancient ecosystems. Take, for example, a tiny lizard embryo found perfectly curled inside its amber tomb. Though incomplete, it provided clues about reptilian development in the Cretaceous period. Its skin, claws, and even parts of its eye were astonishingly intact. In another case, scientists discovered an ancient tick gripping tightly onto a dinosaur feather. This snapshot in time proved something scientists long suspected but had never directly seen, that blood-sucking parasites plagued even the mighty dinosaurs. Amber has also preserved tiny frogs, complete with skin and bone structure, dating back nearly 99 million years. These are the oldest known frogs trapped in amber, and they show us how long amphibians have thrived in wet, forested habitats. There have even been glimpses of ancient behavior. Ants caught mid-attack, flies with pollen on their bodies, suggesting pollination in action, and spiders frozen in the moment of spinning their webs. Each of these finds isn't just a fossil, they're stories. Tiny, crystal clear windows into moments of prehistoric life that would have otherwise been lost forever. These amber encased discoveries do more than just capture the imagination. They fundamentally reshape our understanding of prehistoric life. For one, they offer an unprecedented level of detail. Traditional fossils, like bones and imprints, tell us about structure, but amber preserves the soft tissues, colors, and behaviors that bones can't. We can now study feathers, skin, muscle fibers, and even parasites in ways once impossible. It's like switching from a black and white sketch to a full color, high definition photograph of the past. These specimens also allow scientists to reconstruct ancient ecosystems with incredible precision. By examining multiple organisms trapped in the same amber piece, say a flower, a pollinating insect, and a predator, we get a snapshot of how species interacted millions of years ago. It's ecosystem archaeology on a microscopic scale. And then there's the evolutionary angle. Seeing a modern gecko's ancient relative, or a 99 million year old frog, helps scientists trace how species have evolved, or barely changed, over vast periods. It reminds us that many forms of life are far older than we imagined. But perhaps most importantly, these discoveries show us just how much we still don't know. Every creature trapped in amber is a reminder that Earth's story is still unfolding, layer by layer, fossil by fossil. Who knows what lies sealed in the next golden droplet waiting to be discovered? Amber isn't just a beautiful gemstone, it's a time capsule, a window into a world long vanished. From tiny geckos and feathered dinosaurs to parasitic fleas and ancient frogs, the secrets preserved within these golden droplets continue to reshape our understanding of prehistoric life. Each discovery is a vivid reminder of Earth's deep history, of the intricate ecosystems that once thrived, the creatures that walked alongside dinosaurs, and the astonishing diversity that existed millions of years ago. These tiny fossils help us appreciate not just how much the planet has changed, but also how much has survived through time. So, the next time you see a piece of amber, think of it not just as a stone, but as a frozen moment from an ancient world. If you found this journey into the past as fascinating as we did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more mind-blowing discoveries, and let us know in the comments.
What's the strangest prehistoric creature you've ever heard of? There's still so much buried in the layers of time, and we're just beginning to uncover it. 